Hello and welcome to the Liberal TV Network. We are right here in Bainesville. I uh, were in the Green GD. All uh, right, keep following the Liberal TV Network. I'm Francis K. Dikoba. All right, so uh, member of the press, I'd like to say good afternoon and welcome. So today we will have a very brief conversation uh, concerning issues of interest relative to um, Grant Jide and the president's recent uh, nomination of Ellis Grant as superintendent of the county. So again, let me say good afternoon to all of you. And uh, my name is Kai G. Uh, I am the chief spokesperson for the concerned citizens against the nomination of Ellis Grant as superintendent designate. In recent, there have been a couple of issues and we thought to share with you members of the press issues unfolding as you may be aware, there have been a couple of attacks and threats on our life since we started uh, the campaign against Ellis Grant to not be superintendent of the county based on fundamental problems and issues in how with the people. And so I call you here today to review where we are and how far we have gone with our engagements coupled with threats and attacks that uh, Ellis Grant, the former representative of District 3, and the Senator Zoe Manapin of Grandjida, they have paid thoughts and hired people to kill us and our family. So it's very important that we we'll be able to share with you the facts surrounding these uh, claims. So um, two days ago, we experienced a very tragic situation. And a new man around the hours of 2.36 a.m. Uh, have come to my house and they started to be very provocative in their statements. And just to quote what they said, Kai, if you are a man, come outside, we will deal with you. What we did to you, our capital building was small. So if you think you are man enough, you should be able to come outside. And these guys were also throwing stones on the rooftop of my house. I think you member of the press when you came I was able to show you you know the situation of you know the house especially the zinc area where the guys were throwing the stones and I believe that those people they are paid by the superintendent designate Ellis Grant who confirmation hearing has since been halted by the leadership of the Liberian Senate and the Senate Committee on Internet Affairs. Grant believe that going after the lives of people who are very key in his sources, as a superintendent, you see this as the best way to silence us and the county will not go further in this debate when somebody is very key and cutting up to the team that is against his superintendency, you see this as uh, the best way to silence the people. Because when you go after the main person, the president who is the spokesperson said in it, I mean, the debate died. When that happened, we reported to the police and just within 24 hours, last night around 9.45 p.m., three men, a new man, came to my house again. And one of them known to be Aaron. I've asked my sister and said, where is Kai? And she said, sorry, can I know you guys? And the guy said, well, we are Kai friends, but we came to see Kai. He said, well, I just want to know the name of you guys firstly. And the other guy said, I'm Aaron, and we are good friends of Kai. They came under the pretense that they are my friends. Said they have no friend named Aaron. Let me say to you, and those who have come to me in the house, and I don't know them. I don't even know where they came from. According to them, they told my sister that they've been calling my number to see me, but they, um, they unfortunately, the call cannot go through or to no appeal. So they have come to the house around 9.45 to 10 o'clock to be able to have conversation with me. And so she said, well, Waka, don't live here. This is not kind of place. And my sister, yes, of course, can't come here once in a while to eat, but you don't stay here. And they insisted that they wanted to see me. She said, well, I don't know why you guys are insisting that you want to see him this time. I said, Kai, don't live here. So why do you want to see Kai for? What is the specific issues that you want to see him for? He said, well, uh, we have some money for him. 
So we brought the money. So she said, but where the money? They could not show the money, but they wanted to know where I stay. And literally asked, and said, but where, where can I stay? She said, well, I cannot say car location because I know that Kai has been involved into this advocacy of Ellis Granny recent, and his life is at stake. And people have been attacking him. He was flogged several times on the, on the grounds of the Capitol building. So I cannot tell you where Kali. And the guys got very furious and they, they started to make some statements and they walked out. Now, we also reported this matter to the police. Just a few minutes ago, you saw a team of investigators who have come from the LNP to be able to assess and ask community members to know exactly what's going on. I want to say this. Anything happened to me and my family, those in Morovia and those in Granji, the Ellis Grant will be responsible. Ellis Grant has sent people and talks to attack me, to kill me, and I've said that on the grounds of the Capitol building. I remember on March 7, when we have gone to petition in Barbarian Senate, for the third time, we started this protest against Ellis Grant as superintendent of the county for the last one month since he was nominated and pronounced by the president of Liberia. Ben have said, these people, he was referring to me and my colleagues, that whatever you guys can do to assassinate him, you have to do that. He was giving instruction to his son, Tote Grant, and others to be identified. So on the 8th of March, we have filed our complaint to the civil law court. The matter is before the court. The court has issued Ellis Grant the rate of arrest. The court have issued Ellis Green, so as, as you see this, I just want to display it so you'll be able to know. Mm -hmm. This is the writ of arrest that was issued by the court to Ellis Grant. And so Ellis Green and his lawyer appeared that same day on the 8th of March, and his lawyer signed for him and said, Green will return the next Monday because of medical reasons, Green is not well. So following that time, Green have appeared before the court. And when you appear before the court, then the matter has not been assigned. The court are not being assigned for adjudication because if you carry the matter to the court, you have to make sure that the case is assigned. So on Monday of last week, we were able to assign the case on docket. So the civil law court have issued us our copy of the notice of assignment. So this is the notice of assignment. And the matter will begin on the 26th of March. So when that happens, when we have gone on the grounds of the Capitol building to petition the leaders of the Liberian Senate and the Senate Committee on Internal Affairs, I mean, we were brutalized. I was in hospital, you, the media, uh, Sean, Sean Liberia and other media institutions, I, I believe, uh, uh, Pong Chef and Pong TV was there. When we were humiliated on cameras by folks, by people, Ellis Green paid to kill us that day on the grounds of the Capitol building. Today, my colleagues, they are still suffering from pains, including myself. If you want to check the record, go to City Laboratory. I was there for four days. Till now, I still feel pains in my body. And we want to inform the public. We want to inform the president. Mr. President, this man you nominated as a superintendent of the county, if this man subsequently be appointed by you, it will not only undermine development progress in Granjida, but it will further score chaos. And that's what we don't want. We want to prevent the situation that our people will go the rampage. The Crown people in Granjida have been very peaceful. And we want to remain on that line. But when you push the people against the world, they will react. They will react proportionally. The attack on my life and my family by Alice Grant and his folks, I want to make this very known. That's what I invite to you, member of the press, so you'll be able to be aware of the situation. We have filed our complaint to the police, both the, uh, the area airport here in uh, this area, 72nd, and we also did same with the IG and the uh, one or two of the LNP. We informed them of the situation, and we have filed a copy of our complaint. We have filed a copy of our complaint to our lawyer. So, as the court have scheduled, as the court have scheduled our matter for Tuesday to go to court, 
I just want to inform the Liberian people that green is still after our life and green is after us for reason best known to himself because you think that that's the best way. Now, I just want to show you something. This is our complaint. I'm sorry I don't have the hard copy like I have all of the other documents here. I don't have the hard copy of the complaint we sent to LNP two days ago and yesterday. So this is just, I just want to show you something from the form. So this is the complaint we have sent to the police. And the police have sent the investigators in the community to be able uh, to, to follow the situation. We are not safe. My family and I, I'm not safe. I live in fear and danger. And so the library people should know that anything happened to me and my family, Alice Gray is responsible. I've said that on my social media handles. I've said that in interviews. And I've said that, you know, written the international community. We have informed the American embassy. And we are informing our international partners, including the, 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 the um, UK embassy here in Liberia and other partners. What we are doing, I mean, we guarantee, we are guaranteed on the laws of this country. Article 170 and 15 of our constitution told us that we the citizens we have the right to assemble, petition our government and leaders and its functionaries. And the law have also said in Article 1, we the people are the ones that constitute the government. And we can cause vacancy either by election and appointment. So what we are doing is not personal, but we have fundamental state issues with LS Grant. This is a man who lied on the oath when he was serving the 54th legislature as a representative of District 3 in Grand Jr. He lied, forged another country documents, and on our laws of falsific uh, falsification of documents. It's a major crime. You are aware, you members of the press, and even those listening and watching me. Falsification of documents under the law of Liberia is a major crime. Ellis Green have forged another country document. He was expelled. He was suspended, investigated, and expelled from the University of Liberia and caught it on graduate school. Are you still telling us that the problem we have with Ellis Green being superintendent of the county is a personal problem? No. Ellis Green has brought shame to the people of Green Jr. when he was expelled from this, the, the senior two states university, a most popular, incredible, you know, uh, uh, higher learning institution in this country, University of Liberia and Cotton University. He was expelled because he lied on the oath and he, I mean, he committed a major crime by forcing another country degree. That's a major crime on our law. Now, the 53rd and 54th legislature signed and subsequently passed into law the local government act and what did the local government act say there are criterias made for local government officials for appointments when they don't even meet the qualifications he's not a proper high school graduate and that's why he chose to forge degrees and forge documents even to be a commissioner of a district you should be a holder of an associate degree Simon Ellis Green was a representative. Yeah, I don't know what I, I mean, what I don't read the law or he's not aware of the law that he himself has fixed his signature to a few years ago when the local government act was passed into law. Away from that, this is the man who has been involved into mysterious killings and disappearance of people in our county, including. The late activists and advocate in our county, Otis Jolo, the immediate family have accused Alex Grant. A former chief of office staff had sensitive information on him, Alex Grant, then, Aaron David Toba. He's a very popular you know, political icon in our country history. You can, you can do your fat father. You can call him and ask him. Alex Grant have ordered people. He was tortured, beaten, lying in pain and agony. Yeah, at the JFK hospital, and that matter was also in court. Grant was also Mr. the effemeness of former agriculture minister, Dr. Amagasha Scar. The family have accused Ellis Grant of being involved into his death. When the man died, the people, the family and so associates were on the rampage and said Ellis Grant was involved into the killing of the late. Uh, agriculture 
minister. As a boy guy, one of the very brightest young men we have been in our county, who worked with Ellis Gray, was present and killed his family and friends accused Ellis Gray. You, the member of the press, the most the most reported story in 2021 for Grand Gita, the election magistrate who mysteriously got missing for 2021 till now, tell me four years today, Grand Gita County at Kunamo District, District 2, don't know the whereabouts of Alfred Donald. And Alice Grant was accused. The wife of Alfred Donald have accused Alice Grant, including the family of the Af uh, Alfred Dono, who has mysteriously gone missing, who disappeared four years ago. Ellis Grant have gone on national radio and said, there's a spirit in Grand Gita that can take people away. That in the crown that I'm called a spirit, the gay tipple or gay tipple. And gay tipple in English means it's a marine spirit. And our tradition says, when you also think they are more traditional, involving marine spirit and disappearance of people, indirectly you are aware. You are aware. Or you are part of it. So because of that, there were continued protests for two years in Grand Gita for the mysterious disappearance of Africa. You, member of the press, reported these stories. You are aware of it. 